Hmm. You got your seashell? Did you know we were going to come to the beach? I love to come to the beach. Is it your favorite in the whole wide world? And it truly is his very favorite in the whole wide world. Can I just say this was so much fun. It was exactly what we needed and we didn't even know we needed it. Yeah, the weather when we first got there was a little like gloomy for the first day, but the second day was just perfect. Well, and even when it was gloomy, like it was totally fine. We still enjoyed it and we loved it. Oh, totally. It was just on that second day we were like, oh wow, sunshine. Yeah. We missed that. The one thing that surprised us so much was how warm the water was. Yeah. This is our first time spending time at the beach in North Carolina. We're just used to going to the cold waters of Massachusetts. In October, November, December, because that's when it's off leash time in Massachusetts at the beaches. Um, there were two beaches like right next to each other, divided by a pier, and this particular one we're on in these clips is the one where you keep the leash on, and the other beach, which looks the same, is the beach where you can take the leash off. So that's why sometimes he has the leash on and sometimes he has it off, depending on which side of the pier we were on that at that moment. And that was part of the reason we came to this beach in Carolina Beach was the dog friendliness. And so the beach where you keep your dogs on leash was a block from where we were staying. And then it was like a four minute drive down to the off leash beach. So we would go in the morning. We were there for three nights and <clears throat> we took a walk on the beach that first night and the next morning and the next night and it was just, it was a gift to be able to walk and walk yeah. for miles and miles. We would go yeah. like three or four times out of the day and I feel like it made it a very enjoyable beach experience. I feel like often in Massachusetts we would drive to the beach and feel like we gotta pack in as much time as we can at the beach before we drive home. But having a few days to just kinda like, let's go to the beach for an hour and take a little walk. Was, yeah. Was awesome. That's our style. And so this day we brought the, our like pop-up tent we got on Facebook Marketplace this last year. Um, we brought it because the sun was like coming out blazing and then it would be behind the clouds but we sat in the shade of our tent and um, just enjoyed being together and Ollie just observed everything on the beach. I started, it, this whole thing started with me burying my feet in the sand and then I started making a sculpture out of it. I'm not quite sure what it was, maybe a sea turtle. We went to this restaurant and when we walked in, there was a license plate on the wall that said, it was like an abbreviation, but it said double lung. And I was like, look at that, Mary. And so we sat down outside and Mary asked the server, what's the deal with the restaurant, with a double lung license plate on the wall? And the guy told us the story behind the restaurant. He said that the, original owner like creator of this restaurant he created it in 1998 and he had cystic fibrosis and he then had a double lung transplant hence the license plate and he has since passed away but his restaurant is still here it's called michael's seafood and he his um recipe for like this award-winning chowder is still being served there and we had it and it was award-winning it was amazing and so it's just really cool that we we ate out like twice while we were there mm -hmm. and we just happened to go to this restaurant that had a cool cf connection and i found myself like oh here i am in this legacy of this guy with cf and I like felt like I was gonna start crying multiple times. I don't think you knew that, Peter, but I Aww. was like, this is 
cool and uh, weird. It felt kind of weird, but cool. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. a crab. I really wanted to see a crab. Hello. perfect moment. We packed up our apartment, little studio or whatever it was, and we made it to the beach just after the time of sunrise, but there were clouds, so we basically got to see the sunrise, and it was beautiful. It was really just, okay, let's go back. Like, let's get in the car right now. <laughs> we, we have always said we're October beach people because that was when the beaches would be friend, dog friendly in Massachusetts, but I think we're really October beach people with the perfect weather in North Carolina. It was amazing. And we were surprised. We thought, oh, by the water, it's gonna be really chilly. And so we wore sweatshirts and stuff and then we didn't need them. <laughs> so we, yeah, it was surprisingly warm by the water. And so we took Ollie to the off-leash beach one more time before we headed out of town. And let me just say, he was exhausted. Like, oh my goodness! I think, I think this beach trip was when, like, one of the first, oh, look at him. first times that I see, I've seen him kind of slow down. You know, yeah. he's, he's, he's almost nine years old. And you could, in these clips, he looks like full puppy, but by the end of each of these you. days, he was yeah. exhausted. Ooh, 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 this is the classic quintessential beach shop. It was at night, it was just this glowing majesty oh. of tchotchkes and beach wonderfulness. 